Okay, so in um, Reaper, you can render your, say for example here, your, and a MIDI item here. We could render this to a stereo audio stem, uh, sometimes called bounce in place in things like Logic, by uh, selecting the track, and then we can right click here and it will go to render freeze tracks and then render tracks to stereo stem tracks. So I can do that and mute original and it will go off and do that. And then we have our audio track here now, bounced or rendered. Um, but it does the whole project from start to the end of the last item there on that track, which I don't want. So I'm gonna undo that. So the way you can do that is with a uh, action. Um, and you're gonna need the SWS extensions in installed and I'm going to search for render, uh, come down and find where I've uh, put a couple of key commands in. So the SWS uh, slash AW render tracks to stereo stem tracks obeying time selection is really handy, especially if you're doing loops and stuff like that. So um, I've got that as command option E. So now when I hit that key command, it should render that MIDI to a stereo stem, but just in that time selection. And there we go. Okay, so that was doing that uh, at, um, offline um, as fast as it can. So I'll do that. If you want to do it in real time, there's another really handy action here called uh, toggle render speed, real time and then not limited. And so I'm going to toggle that one now with my key command, which I've got as option control F. And now when I render this track time selection, I'm going to command option E. Now we're going in real time. And that can be handy with things like um, some of the east-west strings I find don't bounce properly, so it's better to do them in real time. Anyway, that's a bit of rendering to stereo stems or bouncing in place in Reaper.